guys, welcome back to Miranda doing stuff. I have just made dinner and my cats are wanting some of it. But it's mine. So for today's video, I thought that I would show you basically what I do once I get home from work. So some of you may know that I work at um, a landscape company. Um, we also have like a mobile flower and plant shop, um, like a pop-up type deal. Um, and I help with running that and I also take care of all the house plants that we have. Um, and I do a lot of like odd jobs and um, like maintenance. Um, special projects like building planter, not build, well, building and setting planters and stuff, um, like small plantings and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, if you want to know more about that, I can do a separate video about what I do. <laughs> so today I thought it'd be kind of fun if I showed you basically like when I get home from um, work, how I spend my time with my plants because literally when I get home from work, all I do is spend time with my plants <laughs> or like look up stuff about plants, watch plant videos. So um, I'll be sharing basically like what I do when I get home, as I've said a million times now, and like how, how daily plant care is what I'm gonna call it. Daily plant care, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm just sitting on my bed with Henry. He's cute. I got this plant today. It's a philodendron xanadu. And it has some roots coming out the bottom, so I'm gonna need to repot him. I was just giving him some sunlight. And I just put in this pl this plant shelf, not plant shelf, plant bench. Um, and so some of those guys need to be watered. I just got my laptop out. I'm gonna do some um, video watching. I know that Summer Rain Oaks put out, puts out um, a video every day now, and so I'm gonna watch that. Um, but yeah, I guess, I'll stop talking and get to doing. So I propagated this ficus audrey at work and I checked it today and it has roots on it. So I'm going to go ahead and pot this. I'm hoping maybe this will grow. I'm not really sure if this is a new leaf or if he's burnt off, but I had him under the grow light at work. So we'll see what happens. So this is my plant closet where I keep all my stuff or almost all my stuff. I have all my soil, my stuff for potting, extra pots, hangers if I want them, fertilizer, rooting hormone. I don't know what to put him in. I don't know if I should put him in one of these little ones. For now, or if that's going to be too small. What does it look like? I feel like that'll work for now. It won't give him a lot of soil, but it'll give him enough to where he can grow a little bit, but not get root rot. So I'll be able to water him constantly, make sure the soil is pretty moist, but it won't let him rot. So I'm gonna do that. I hate cats. I hate them. We have some soil made. So this is three parts uh, coconut cure um two parts perlite and then one part orchid bark and that's what i use for all of the more tropical plants um like my philodendrons my ficuses my dracaena um basically anything that's not a cactus or a succulent or like a something that needs a lot of um drainage so this is pretty much what i use that'll be fine for a while. Him. Right in here. Because he's used to being under a grow light. And 
this is my nice western window. I'm just gonna go ahead and check these guys. Basically, all of these need to be watered. This guy is growing a new little, whoops, thing. <laughs> my string of beans, I don't know what string that is. This guy, I need to just repot him. That soil was really bad. So this is my um, Cebu Blue Pothos that is variegated. And um, once it gets established in this pot, um, I'm going to start to um, cut off the parts that aren't variegated to um, select for variegation. It's like this one here. Probably cut it off right here, just because this leaf isn't variegated. But I tore it apart. I took the variegated parts out from the uh, non-variegated, and I have that in a separate pot as well. So this is kind of a long-standing project that I'm undertaking. Oh, my Calathea look really happy. I just got this one yesterday. I'm Aquiana. My medallion. This guy, what is his name? It starts with an S. I forget what it is. Just stuck some Mispomo fertilizer in there. So I've been fertilizing lately. And I'm gonna fill this up. And since it's not, um, I'm not watering like Clathias or ferns or anybody who's really sensitive. I use my tap water. Um, otherwise, I use purified or distilled water. Um, or I just leave this guy out overnight, which is usually what I do because I'm lazy. It's so bright. But yeah, I'm just going to water it. So I don't quite have enough pots to, or not pots, trays to water everything at the same time. So what I usually end up doing is just switching out the trays. Um, so I'm going to water these and then I'll come back in like a half hour and water the other ones that I didn't get. Um, I would just like to talk about how um, my cat is very annoying. Um, that's not what I was originally going to talk about, but um, why are trays so expensive? That's what I would like to know. He just broke this. Henry. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. He was growing so well. I'm very upset. <sighs> well, I guess I know I have a pot outside. I can use oh, that cat I swear so I have this one for now I guess that's fine and then this was a daily and I'm actually gonna take this pot in and use it as well that's done Honestly, if you have cats and you have plants, this happens so often. And pots are, like, not that cheap, and this clearly was a new one. I don't actually think this is going to fit in there. I don't think it's going to work. I was really hoping that would work. Oh, I hate when that happens. Because now I have to buy a new pot.
So, I don't know if you've seen on some of the planes that I've been showing you, but I've had um, popsicle sticks, wooden popsicle sticks with um, names on them. So, I've just been trying to do that for all my plants, but it's really hard and I have so many that it's going to take a while. So, every time that I'm thinking about it, I usually take like six or ten and just sort of look around at the plants that I'm looking at, like facing or whatever, and um, I just write down what they are, I look it up if I have to, um, so I'm just going to do that. So I got these leaf cuttings of uh, Pilea peppermoides um, from work, they fell off some plants obviously. So I'm going to propagate these, I'm going to put them in my little um, blueberry thing, whatever, let me find it. Put them in this and keep it humid, great way to recycle as well. So all I'm going to do is snip off some of that petiole there, Just plop them down like so so that this right here is touching the soil and I was going to propagate more things but I'm almost done with another tub of blueberries so I'm just going to leave this that's not going to work and then make the soil moist give it some humidity and be sure to keep this super humid. Hopefully, this will work. We'll see. So it's dark out now and I think I'm going to go to bed, but um, I didn't really do anything else. I kind of like switched stuff around a little bit, but um, yeah, that's kind of how I take care of my plants every day. Um, I just make sure to check them all for like bugs and for um, water, for if they need some fertilizer, um, their placement, their light, whatever. But I try to pay attention to them every day. Um, I usually at least water something every day. Um, and I will probably move something around at least once a day. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.